in this problem, we need to find x in this following equation. And since x is in the denominator of both of these, if we just multiply each side by a common denominator, which would just be the product of each of these two denominators, then that in one step will eliminate both of the denominators. So multiplying each side by this x minus 2, x plus 1, Notice on the left hand side that x minus 2 in the numerator cancels out with x minus 2 in the denominator. And on the right hand side, the x plus 1 in the denominator cancels out with the x plus 1 in the numerator. And on the left side of the equation, we're left with 7 times x plus 1. And on the right, we're left with 3 times x minus 2. And now we just have to distribute the 7 and the 3. So we have 7x plus 7 is equal to 3x minus 6. And we can subtract 3x from each side so that all of the x's are now on the same side of the equation. So we have 4x plus 7 is equal to minus 6. And now we want to get the x's by themselves. So we can subtract minus 7 from each side. So we have 4x is equal to minus 6 minus 7 is just minus 13. And that leads us to division by 4 on each side. So x is equal to minus 13 over 4.